Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're just about to go into this boss battle. Now, just a couple quick things before we actually go in there. I did spend some time grinding between last episode and this episode. So you can see, we're all level 15. I forgot what we ended off at, but we were like probably like level 11. So, this fight should be pretty easy. If it's not easy, I'd be very surprised. And the other big change... As far as abilities, I realized that I could actually technically have <clears throat> two abilities. I have the fixed command, which is the black magic, and I also have a secondary command. So, I put on each character either black magic or white magic. Let's just get to it. Tis? Come to save us the trouble of finding you, Vestal? How very courteous. And just what are you doing here, Adia? I'll go along with the Sky Knight's methods no longer. You've no say in the matter. Defying orders is treason, girl! Enough! You have us! Let the king go! First, the Vestal comes to me. Alone! You mustn't! I'll not keep my head at the cost of an innocent girl! You'll not keep your head at all, if you keep running your mouth. Are you so eager to join the captain of your guard? Heinkel, you were among the highest regarded warriors in the duchy. A paragon of chivalry. And the Sky Knights beneath you? I grew up on the tales of their brave and righteous deeds. But what I saw was a band of craven thugs. You defile the title of knight! Green fool! All hands! Seize these four! Kill the men if you must! Okay. This should be an easy fight. Like I said, I grinded for it. Um, should be an easy fight. Let's go ahead and just do... No, okay. Let's see. Let's do three braves. Okay, let's kill the pikemen. Uh, let's do three of those. Bang, bang. I'm guessing two of them would probably be enough. But, and then, let's just default with Ring of Bell and we should be good here. Oh, and one's even critted. Okay, then the deal will finish off that other one. Easy. Oh, I thought we were going to jump right into the boss fight after it. Such valor. You're quite the little heroes. And here I so hope to resolve this peacefully and let the good king go. Oh, I was like, are we not fighting him? Adia's ire. Any guess where he's headed, Adia? The villa rooftop to the airship berth. Wasn't this villa a retreat for the Caldislan royal family? Why would they have a birth? I agree, it seems incongruous. I use birth loosely. They've driven an airship anchor into the building's roof. Not much for finesse, are they? We can discuss it later. Hurry, they'll get away. Don't confuse haste for speed. We need to be smart. Right. I know. I know. I just can't forgive what Heinkel's done. He's a knight who has ground chivalry into the who has ground chivalry into the dirt. As I recall, knights are called to serve as the sword and shield of the weak, not to threaten the public or burn down homes or duck royalty. I am in agreement with you, Idea. This man is no knight. Perhaps our views are more similar than I dared believe. For now, let us hurry. To the roof then. Okay. To the roof we go. Okay, so we need to go down, sideways, and then to the airship. Heinkel, this is your answer, and still you'd call yourself a knight? As daughter to a true knight, I know their pride is staked upon fair and honorable combat. Release your hostage, then stand and face us! No more running, coward! Ha! Ah, you invoke your father after betraying him? 
He's headed for the airship! That makes no sense. Why should he flee? His aim is the Vestal, not the key. He's baiting us? Still, we have to give chase. We'll lose him and the ship. Well, I'm game to brave a trap. I'm following you. Anyas, let's go! Right. Ah, good. You came. You're a bold lot, if not a smart one. This ship is a prison you entered willingly. Nowhere to run now, save down. Quickly. Really, I must thank you for taking the bait so eagerly. It's earned you a lavish cruise through the clouds, Vestal. And for your friends, a career as ballast. You're a prisoner here, same as us. No more tricks, Heinkel! A knight without chivalry is a common bully. I'll see you stripped of that title here and now. You wouldn't test your elders, girl. I thought to bring you home in chains, but no. All but the Vestal will end here as dew upon my blade. You'll die with the rest, traitor. All right, now we actually get to fight him. Get the easiest part of our lives going here. Okay, what do? Let's go ahead and um, let's just attack Heinkel. We'll brave twice and kill the Sky Archers. Just brave, technically brave once. And then we'll go ahead and we can do fire damage on Heinkel and that should be enough here. Ironclad. Okay, well we can hit him with magic then. Physical defense up. That makes no use for magic, so. Oh, protect. Okay. He protects his allies. Fair enough. Oh, I forgot. Idea's a black mage. I should be using magic. That's dumb of me. Sorry. I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, you can't protect from mage spells, right? But you keep making your physical, but magic will kill you either way. And I think I'm a high enough level to survive a lot of these attacks. Although, I do need to... Okay, I'm gonna keep using... Maybe I'll kill this... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Do that. Fire on all foes. Okay, then I'm going to. <clears throat> no, I'm just going to. Yes, it's all. I know I'm just going to on myself. And then these white, cure, and iron. Yes, let's do that. Let's just get some damage in. But also cure ourselves a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Don't do that. Okay, it didn't poison them. That's good. I'm just going to go ahead and kill these guards real quick, just so we can get them out of the way. Fair enough. The rest is just pure damage to the big guy. Easy enough. Shield strike. Okay, that hurt a little bit. That's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, martial arts. <clears throat> okay, let's do a strong strike. Abilities, let's do also a strong strike. Then we'll go ahead and default here. Woo! That's a good hit right there. My Ooh, okay, one missed. Alright, the critical made up for it though. Okay. Ring a bell happened to be defaulting at that time, which is good. Let's do the exact same thing until we can get Adia back up to start hitting some spells. Shield strike. Ow. Okay, let's just do one brave. Two strong strikes. Same thing with her. And then what we're gonna do is just brave like that. And then get two fires. <clears throat> okay, I need them not to miss though. Okay, one of them didn't miss. Seems like it's a 50-50 on whether they hit. Okay, Tiz ended up hitting both, which was good. But the really thing that's doing a lot of damage is the magic here, so. Stomp. Ooh, that hurts a little bit. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna go... Let's try a Thunder, maybe. Let's see how that does. Let's go ahead and default. And then... Do this. White. Let's, let's do Adia. And then... Ag Agnes. There we 
There you go. Okay, so we're all good on health. Weak point? Oh, Thunder's his weak point? Okay. Well then, Thunder we do then. I didn't know Thunder was his weak point. He's gonna have more Thunder coming his way. Although, one of them won't be. Okay, this will probably kill him, so I'm just, I'm confident in wasting it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, if I if I knew Thunder was his weak point earlier, I would have absolutely demolished him a long time ago. But like I said, I'm not I'm not using a guide right now, so I feel like if there's no puzzle, oh I just smacked my mic. If there's no puzzles, I don't want to use a guide, you know, or if I'm having a really tough time with a boss. But okay, high defense. Yes, I know what a knife is. So yeah, I don't want to use a guide if not completely needed. We are. I'm a crack pilot, apparently. Now find something to hold on to! Okay, Ring of Bells, a pilot. We'd love to see it. Where are we crashing, though? Train to the lake? Train to the lake. Okay. Can we go. No? Okay, apparently that's just crashed. Alright, back to the kingdom we go then. Oh. Also, um, because of all the grinding that I did before the last fight, um, I have almost 4,000 gold. But real quickly, what we're gonna do is, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna change Tiz to a knight here. Yes. I, I really like the knight class. It's one of my favorites. Um, in almost any chivalry. Okay. We can put Kira on him. Okay, let's see. And then... I'm gonna want to put... Black Mad... No, she already has... Oh, she's already a... Okay, hold on. I just want to make sure I have enough... Black... Okay, so I have two people with black magic. So I think that's okay. You know what? I'll even put black magic But I'll on put her. what I have... Yeah, and then is either of these better? Okay, the gauntlets are better. Okay, so I'm just gonna put what I have on them now. But yeah, I really like the knight class. It's honestly um, that the knight saved me a lot. It actually even saved me in the final battle. So I really like the knights. Okay, I should probably do a little bit of um, update work, so I should probably... Uh, let me go to the inn. Let me go buy some things. So I might cut out for a second here and do a little bit of shopping. Okay, guys, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not going to do any shopping. You know why? Because I think we're close to going to the next town. And I do not want to spend all my money here on worse equipment when the next town's going to have better equipment. So. The kingdom of Kaldisla owes you all a vast debt. I thank you from my heart of hearts. You, more than anyone, tis. A nightmare was visited upon you and your home, and still you rose up to defend ours. I'm certain your feats have earned Owen a peaceful rest. If 
you are willing, I would gladly see you take up his sword. Will you continue to keep this land safe, son? You honor me, your highness, but I cannot accept. I promised on yes that I'll join her on her journey. Kaldisla shall be poorer for losing you. Know that you will ever have a home here. The Eternian airship is yours to use as you will. Take it with my blessing. There's not a man in the kingdom able to pilot it anyway. <laughs> I leave the matter of that horrible chasm to you. I have faith you'll see it unmade. May the crystals keep you in your journey. Okay. <clears throat> that airship is officially ours. Oh, also. Can I change formation here? I, I want to change formation. Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to spend any money here because if we're going to the next town, they're very... It's, I'm like certain they're going to have better stuff. So there's no reason to spend a bunch of money here if not particularly needed, you know? Okay, so we take the airship now. We run with our cape out in the wind. Point definitely outclassed at that level. Okay, let's get in this airship. Hopefully Ring of Bell knows how to fly it. Seems I've found a reason to come along. Now, my ladies, all you need do is simply speak the word, and I shall whisk you off to the very ends of existence. And you're really sure that wasn't just a fluke before? Rest assured, my dear. I never fail to properly escort a lady. <laughs> Agnes, will you tell us why they were chasing you? The Sky Knights are a branch of the Eternian forces. The Duchy of Eternia has put forth an agenda of anti-crystallism. Anti-crystallism? A new way of thinking based upon the idea of a society no longer dependent upon the crystals. It brands the crystal orthodoxy as a heretic faith, and the Vestals its minions. It was the philosophy I was raised upon. When the chasm appeared, every one of the Eternian forces was given the order to capture <coughs> the Vestals. They said the Vestals and the crystals they tend were the sinkhole's cause. That's not possible! Agnes has been fighting this whole time to fix what happened to Narende. I know. I'm sorry. You've nothing to apologize for. All of this paints the duchy in a suspicious light, don't you think? Perhaps they know more of the chasm's true cause than they let on. I cannot imagine we've seen the last of them. If any of you wish to go, do it now. I'll not blame you. I'm staying with you. I just told the king as much. I'm in as well. I need to see for myself whether my people are right or wrong. And playing escort is my job. I'll not cede it to anyone. If none of you will listen to reason... This is so exciting, Agnes! You're finally headed back to the Wind Crystal side! Yes, to Anshan, the land of sand and time, and to the Temple of Wind. Anshan, the land of sand and time? What's it like there? Like an oasis <coughs> in a vast <coughs> desert beyond the sea, we make southeast of here. Yeah, I like this town. I have fond memories of it. Um, by air, receiver, air press, switch between, okay. Yeah, I have fond memories of this next town, so, should be good. First, party chat. So, uh, Agnes, refresh my memory, amnesia joke. By the way, oh, ah, uh, by the way, which way to, uh, and chime, or yes, it's southeast, south, never eat southeast, okay. Will this 
course serve or southeast please oh my dear i'm afraid i have no recollection to go by i need reliable directions for this it's uh, nothing more uh, i think we'll see what happened ring a bell she means it's southeast of caldisla specifically aye aye oh anyas what sort of place is Ainsham? yeah i mean a subtle pronunciation it's covered in vast desert and hot and as though it were always midsummer wow that sounds like the complete opposite of where i was born huh i guess there are all sorts of places out there this is your first time leaving caldisla then tis it is what about you adia <clears throat> me or i i was a former sky knight i've flown all over the world where have you been uh a lot of places ternia caldisla Oh, you're really any better than me then. The world is vast, my friends. There are countries, per there are countries of perpetual summer, others of winter. Verdant lands, rich in water, entire kingdoms built on volcanoes, nations hidden in forests. That sounds amazing, or so I'd imagine. I have no memory, remember? Well, what? You're just guessing? The world is vast. Keep it that vague, and you're sure to be right. <clears throat> Another one. Okay. And chimes something. Is anyone else hungry? Anyas, what sort of food is Ainchem known for? Huh? Oh, I'm I'm afraid I so rarely left the temple I couldn't say. And when I passed through the way to Caldisla, who is this a fugitive? Well just tell us about what you've eaten then. Uh, I seem to recall a great deal of Ann Chimes cuisine being spicy. One bite and I felt as though I were spewing flames. I broke into a full body sweat. Sounds pretty intense. Leave it to the desert people to develop a taste for searing heat. I'm sure their women are no less fury and... Oh, what about sweets? Any cakes and things? Oh, I'd nearly forgotten. I had the most curious delicacy in the port of the inner sea. Yeah? It was ice cream that stretched. Stretchy ice cream? Sounds so weird. I can't wait. Get ready, weird stretchy ice cream. Ideas coming for you. Full speed ahead. Fury and temperament. <clears throat> okay. So we have a map down there. And we gotta head to this continent. I guess we could do some exploring. So we need to go right here. Now, I wonder, let's just go to where we are needed here. So, what is get off? What button is that? Because, again, I'm not on a 3DS. I'm on an emulator. Okay, so it's just the main button. Fair enough. Okay, sit and stay are tricks for dogs. Chapter 1. We've arrived in Anchine. Anchine. Gotta remember Down that. The wind. Are these desert places normally supposed to be windy? When they're the sight of the wind crystal they are, this stillness shouldn't be possible. The wind carried all manner of blessings to this land in days past. It was the kingdom's lifeblood. I see. All the more reason to hurry then. Which way to the temple? From here, we need only head... Uh, we ought to make a four. Which way is it? Ignore anything she says. Anya's raises getting lost to an art form. I'm impressed you made it to Caldisla. Just a moment. My journal details much of Ansheim's topography. A clockwork metropolis. Nestled in Harina's sandy bosom. Here, time, above all, is sacred. A massive timepiece crowns the kingdom, fueled as all of Ansheim by the ceaseless currents originating from the Temple of Wind to the south. Quite thorough, isn't it? Sounds as if you've been here before. Perhaps that book of yours is a travel diary? I do seem possessed of a certain wanderlust. The normal sort as well. Ooh, perhaps I'll find a train of ex-lovers here among the sands. Let's be off. We make south. Let's do it. 
Always banger soundtracks. All present, Lord Marshal. Save the usual tune, at least. No matter. Let's begin. I trust word has reached you from Kaldisla. The Knights of the Eternian Sky have fallen to the Vestor. I'd not thought the girl so bloodthirsty as all that. It appears she surrounded herself with capable guards. What's more, it pains me to say it, but Idea's whereabouts have been lost amid the chaos. That is no concern of yours. Do not confuse personal matters with your assigned task, Alternus. My apologies, Lord Marshal. Not only did the Sky Knights fail, they've given the Vestal wings. Why they didn't simply kill the child, I'll never know. Keen insightful as ever, Victoria. Yet I fear we've need of the Vestal alive. Have we, Victor? Bah, no matter then. If she fled by air, it's a simple matter to track her. She makes for Anshine by necessity. And to the Temple of Wind. Anshine does face upon the Florshine Sea. Of course. Most of the world's seas have gone putrid, but the inner sea remains navigable. That would offer the airship a berth. But what does she aim to do there? Why return to the crystal now? It smells of some sinister plot. Anshine is the province of the Kammer and Profiteur merchantry. What say you, Lord Marshal? We haven't the leisure of chasing the Vestal across the globe and back. We need her in custody now. Tell the merchantry to employ any means they must. <sighs> Okay. okay guys, I'm gonna end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as a the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.